What's up everybody, it's Chase and J Miles and I am back with another video. In this video, I am going to be talking to you about my listing presentation. I recorded another video where I was doing a demo of my listing presentation. A lot of you wanted a copy of it and wanted to know the different parts of it. So I figured I would just go ahead and make a video telling you about all the parts of my listing presentation. I realize that you may not be able to see everything, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play screenshots of the different pages in here how do I want to do this basically there's stuff in my listing presentation that you just may not need and I'll tell you what that stuff is but I am going to give you the essentials that you're gonna to want to have in your listing presentation if you're watching this you're probably a newer agent or you need to revamp your listing presentation so this will definitely help with that go ahead give me hit that thumbs up button if this is a video that you've been waiting for let's go ahead and get into it All right, now before I get into it, I forgot. I wanna tell y'all, I'm starting a new YouTube channel. I'm keeping this one, still gonna be doing lots of content on this channel, but if you were listening to my podcast, you probably heard my announcement. I'm moving all these vlogs and these lifestyle videos and the behind the scenes stuff to a different channel. And I'm calling it the CJM channel. I'll put the link down in the description. If you could go and subscribe to that channel, I'm gonna be moving a lot of videos over there. So just want to let y'all know that if you don't see any more vlogs and stuff on this channel, that's why. Getting into the listing presentation. This is my title page. It's just real simple, um, home selling guide. This is what's on there. Now, when you get into the first page, I have an about our team page. Now, you all know that I run a team. Instead of it just being an about me page, I decided to do it an about our team page but I started out with just an about me page that just included my bio. So for you, if you're not on a team, you can just do a bio page. Talk about who you are, what you like, what you do, all of that good stuff. It doesn't need to be long, mine isn't long. And then I have an about EXP Realty page. I'm a agent at EXP, my team is at EXP, so therefore I have a page for the brokerage so people can kind of know why I go with EXP versus any other brokerage. And you can have that too for whatever brokerage you belong to. Now, from there, it's more about why EXP. Talk about our technology exposure, all of that good stuff. This page is really important. This is a why hire us page. For those of you who have watched my listing presentation video, I don't go like page to page to page of this listing presentation. I point out the things that are most important to people. But in this video, I wanted to just tell you what every page is. So this is a why hire us page. What I decided to do for this page was simply just do bullet points of why someone should hire us versus another agent. So this is a simple page. You're just going to think about what makes you great, why they should work with you over someone else. And then from there, I have reviews. So I don't have a lot of reviews on here, even though I've had over a hundred reviews. I decided to just highlight a few of them and I change these out every so often just to keep them relevant because they do have dates on them. But just put a few reviews that you've collected from your Yelp, your Realtor.com, Zillow, Google, Facebook, wherever you collect reviews from your business, even text messages. Like if you have clients who have sent you a review through a text message, you can put that here on this page. From there, I'm showing some recently closed sales. If you don't have any sales, check with your broker to see if you can put your brokerage's sales in there. Until you start to have sales, at that point, you can put pictures of you and your clients at closings. And then, as you all know, Zillow and a lot of the real estate websites out there, if you did a sale on the MLS and you actually inputted it into Zillow and stuff, they'll create a map with a little pin on all these different addresses and parts of town that you've had sales in. So what I did was I just took a screenshot of that, put that here on the recently closed sales so that you can see like this map with all of these dots everywhere of recently closed sales. From there, I'm getting into the marketing stuff. So marketing touch points. These are some of the things that we do to market a property. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's 28 different things just on this list alone. Now, I tell clients in my presentation, 
I may not do all of these, but it'll give you a good idea of some of the things that we would do to market your property. Some of these may be irrelevant to them, like Luxury Home Magazine or certain luxury websites if the property is not a luxury property. I don't put all those in here. Now, next, I'm moving into explaining home buying and marketing and things like that. So I'm, I have this chart and I created this chart in Canva. Actually, this whole book was created in Canva. And it's just letting them know where people start with their home search. So mostly showing that 52% of consumers start their home search on the internet. So I have this nice graph here. 89% of buyers purchase their home through a real estate agent. Showing all of that. You know, this is great for for sale by owners, just to point that out. Then I get into talking about the steps taken by home buyers. So this is telling buyers, or this is telling the sellers that I'm meeting with, hey, 44% start out looking for their property online. They start just looking at homes on there. Then 17% start by contacting a real estate agent. So I'm, I'm letting them know that buyer profile, how buyers work. This is mostly explaining to them why they want to work with a real estate agent. That's what it's meant to do. I get into the social media presence. So I talk about my social media pages. I have screenshots of those pages talking about followings, things like that. From there, I'm getting into the print collateral. So this is showing, hey, this is the flyer that we're going to place in your house. This is what it looks like. One thing that a lot of people or a lot of agents do, they talk about this stuff but they don't show the clients what they actually look like. So that's what this page does. From there, we talk about our website. We use KV Core for property searches, all that good stuff. So I have screenshots of our KV Core website on there, talking about our internet exposure, and then the website syndication. So letting them know that once we put a property on MLS, it's gonna syndicate to all of these different websites. So all that stuff is here on that page. From there, now we get in deeper to the marketing tools. So I talk about signage, photography, the internet, flyers, and different value added services. And people really like this value added services part because I talk about, hey, you're gonna get weekly status updates. Um, we have a guaranteed open house program until it sells, meaning that we can do an open house every single weekend until your property sell. Um, we have appointments available seven days a week, all that good stuff. So I'm talking about the marketing tools. Now I'm showing them an example of the professional photography. So this is a home that I sold and I took a camera phone photo of it, put that up top. And now I'm showing them the professional photo. So this is just that example. You know, I'm not just talking about it. I'm providing people with examples. Now I'm talking about virtual showings. So if you use a service like Matterport or anything like that, where they can do the 3D walkthrough, we talk about that here. Staging. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm showing the home unstaged photos, and then I'm showing them professional photos with staging put in the home. Again, this is all marketing stuff. Now I'm getting into the signage. How, how does the sign look that's gonna go in your yard? I'm showing it to you. This is what our open house sign looks like. This is what our riders look like. We're gonna put these status updates, coming soon, for sale, under contract, and sold. So we can collect leads, we can get your property sold, all that kind of stuff. Now I'm talking about international reach. So just talking about some of the marketing channels that we use, how they go and they're on international platforms. Now we're getting into the selling process. So this is the selling process. I talk about the pre-listing portion, then the listing portion, under contract, pending, and then closing. What happens there? Our last page is the pricing strategy, how we should price the home. I talk about location, the date of the sale, when the home was built, upgrades, the different sale types, so investments or auctions, things like that. But then I also talk about pricing. Like if we price high, how many people can we expect to come to the home? If we price low, we can get a lot of offers, but you're most likely not gonna get that, that market value. Next thing I'm talking about, the activity, days on market, how that works. And we're having this pricing discussion. Now I'll tell you when I'm doing my listing presentation, oh, and then there's a page for them to take notes because they get to keep this book. So I have a notes page in here. And that's, that's the whole listing presentation, all in this one book. Now, I wanna encourage you, if you haven't watched my 
actual presentation live presentation that i've done i'll link that video in the card so you can go and watch that but that's what my listing presentation consists of now my design i wanted it to be real clean i wanted to keep the focus on the information that was in there a nice colorful photos and then i got these professionally printed binded so you see there's the staple on the side it's an actual book okay and people really like this because it shows them the professionalism of the work that we're going to do when it comes to marketing of the listing that's my listing presentation i hope that you liked it give me a thumbs up if you did let me know down in the comments some things that stood out to you in my listing presentation maybe some things that you may add into your presentation and as always please subscribe to my channel i'd love to have you a part of my youtube community here and and go check out my other channel so um we're, we're about to be getting that revved up i'd love to have you a part of that so until next time i'm chasing j miles and i will talk to you soon